Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Natalie. In this Canva tutorial, you will discover the features of Canva Frames, a powerful design tool. Frames let you crop images and videos into different shapes, adding a creative touch to make your content stand out. I'm only using two frames on each design and it takes approximately over a few minutes to design it. You can use this powerful design tool to highlight your photos and videos and elements. So here's the five step-by-step -step guide on how to crop an image into custom shapes in Canva. Create a design. I will be using the Instagram post video. You open the Elements tab, you enter here Frames, Circle Frames, and this will open up Canvas Design Elements in a pop-up panel. Scroll down to view the different Canva frames. You can click on See All option to view them all. Let's add this one, open the Video tab, and I look up for Rain Keyword. Click to insert and watch as your video transform instantly. The frame element will sit inside the video element. We can adjust the transparency of the video. So, to do that, press Alt 1 from your keyboard to open the Layers panel. Select the video layer. Click on this little three dots line. If you want, for instance, to detach the video. If you have changed your mind and you want to detach the video, you can press this detach video option. However, as I said before, I want to add some transparency. So all you have to do now is to press on the transparency tab and then you just need to select and drag as you wish. You can also adjust the video duration to achieve the perfect look for your design. So select the video. You just need to hover your mouse cursor over it and some trim handles will show up for you. And all you have to do is to drag and drag them to trim the video duration. And once you are satisfied, just press the done button. The playback tab is to set up video speed. The standard video speed is 1 and to set up your video on autoplay, when presenting it, just select the play automatically. And finally, to loop a video, simply select repeat option and you are done. Then I added the, a background pattern and this is the end result. Canva also provides frames that you can utilize for text masking. In these frames, you can include video or any image inside the frame and animate as you wish to. Let's quickly replicate my example. It's really simple, just follow along my step-by-step -step instructions and you'll be okay. I'm using the Pro version of Canva. Step number one, you will start by selecting your Canva template size. I'm using an Instagram post size. In the search area, look for text frames elements. I want to use this love frame, simply select it to place it in a Canva editor, then arrange it by clicking on the position at the toolbar and you will see various options to choose from. In addition, you can select the layers tab on my current page. I have two layers. The background is the bottom one with this easy background icon and the frames layer this one. To select any of these layers is simple. Just click to select it from the layers panel. It will be highlighted for you. And you will also find edit options from the layers panel. Just over your mouse over a layer and click on this three dots icon to find extra options. For example, you can use this align to page, the frame layer from left right, stop, or bottom. Moving on, I will add now an image. So from the editor side panel, click on the photos icon, this one, 
you could use instead a video alternatively and then use the search bar to look for specific photos or upload your own media by clicking first on the upload icon i want to utilize this one just drag the photo over the frame until it is placed inside and this is called the text masking with an image or a video to resize and repositioning the image simply double click the photo you want to adjust and then to resize just click and drag any of these white circle handles on the corners of the photo i'm pressing the shift key as well and now to reposition just drag the photo around the frame space i also want to add a border click done and to find the border option you easily find them at the toolbar here i assign four pixel solid border with the corner rounding four pixels as well let's put it on a white color and you will easily find out why in a second and the next step is to add a beautiful background image or a video to do that just select the background layer now determine the photo you want to use and drag it to the canvas editor space to arrange the background layer simply right click on the layer and choose send backward I want to cover the whole space, so I'm dragging all these white handles. And finally, let's add some sparkle by adding a subtle animation to become even more engaging. So select the frame layer, this one, it becomes highlighted with this purple color, and then choose at the toolbar the animation tab. At your left side edit locate the photo movement. There are three options available to you, but I go with this photo zoom effect to be animated on enter and with a out scale effect. Let's preview. Beautiful. So this is the end the result. And finally, if you want to download it, you go to the share download, then choose the page you want to download. To me is page number two and then you will choose the mp4 video format and you are done you can add colors and gradients to the frames so let's add a new one first I'll look here for overlay frames this is one i particular like and can will showcase its collection now let's i want to use this one and now i want to fill in with color so you click on the rainbow color from the editor toolbar now you select the colors you want to use let's say this one or alternatively you can apply a gradient color like this another thing you can do is to changing the frames border color and some frames let you change its border color for this example, I don't have an option up here, so let's have a new one. Let's say a circle frame, see all. Let's have this one. You can change it. Quickly have a photo. So to change the border color, you simply click the frame. Then up here, you can change it to a gradient, to a solid color based on your own needs. This is a special Canva hack, it's a game changer and this is available for Canva Pro users and with this you can change anything you want inside the product image text. For example, I want I insert my product image because I need to make changes to this text. So click to edit the photo, then under effects select this option, grab text, as I need to change it to another one. So I select this one and now I enter I can change the color. You first need to select. I can change the color. I can change the font. I can change the font size. 
grab desk works best when the text is straight in other in other words the text should not have any perspective distortion if that's the reason just scan the document and upload it to canva instead and there you have it with just a few clicks you can transform your image into a unique masterpiece using this canva hack and canva frames let me know in the comments which custom shapes you are excited to try first and if you found this tutorial helpful share it with your fellow creators until next time my name is natalie keep creating and stay inspired i will catch you in the next tutorial